Hey guys, so today on Make It Tuesday, we're going to be doing altered composition notebooks, okay? Um, I buy them all the time. I just haven't did one yet, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing. And I'm also going to be using my beautiful Maggie Holmes paper because um, I buy it all the time and I buy the embellishments. <laughs> but I don't ever get a chance to like use the whole collection in something so that is what I'm going to be doing okay so I have the Woodland Grove collection I have the older collection this is sunny days it is not double sided so that's kind of a bummer but this one is double sided and so we're going to be using that um, just really pretty and I have quite a bit of um, accessories for the Woodland Grove one and I think the marigold will go good with this as well um, I think I do have a marigold pad but I don't is in all my stuff so I didn't try to go find it okay so my idea for the composition notebook is to turn it into a Midori okay so this is what I did okay this is my prototype guys yes I make prototypes <laughs> um, but so this is the composition notebook like this this right here is the exact same thing right same thing so we use this piece and we also use the spine to create this right and i use tim holtz in here i put the elastics in here and then i use the pages right here to make my inserts okay so that is what i'm going to be showing you guys and it fits pretty good i had to cut the pages down just a little bit um not too much um just a little bit but it fits everything fits good just like just like a regular Midori yeah yeah so I love it I hope you guys like it so let's get started okay, okay guys before we get started I wanted to show you guys something so I got these both from Walmart they're both pin and gear one says USA and one is made in Brazil so when you open it up the one that's made from Brazil, the paper is thicker than the one that's made in the USA. So, um, can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but can you hear it? It's the texture is just different, right? So this is thin, this is thicker. Um, it depends on what you're trying to do. So just keep that in mind that all composition notebooks are not created the same. Um, they they tend to have different paper weights, but that's okay. Um, it doesn't really apply to anything. You can still do it with if you have that one. Um, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to pull just a little bit. I'm going to pull it away from the spine, right? And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut. So guys, my inspiration from this was doing it like um, pulling it away from the spine and stuff like that. I will have to find it. I, it was one on um, Pinterest, but my inspiration from really doing this is um, May May Made It. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her channel. She has a really big channel. She's a paper crafter and she does a lot of stuff like with Cricut and she's just awesome. Um, but I think she has a shop, if I'm not mistaken. Um, she has a store. A she had a physical store. And I don't, in Genevieve Designs, she um, did a class when she had made, I think it's called Made It Con or something like that with her name in it. Um, and so anyway, she, she does these all the time. So that's where the idea came from. There we go. I was struggling <laughs> so that's where the idea came from so we're just gonna go with the flow okay um, we're gonna have to cut these down but the fact that they are all together is really cool so you don't have to really do anything you're just gonna keep this together don't mess with it right now okay so once we got that we are going to take this now what I wanted to do was because you know the composition notebook the spine is really small right and you could if you wanted to you could just cover it like this. You don't have to do anything else. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut out along this edge right here. Okay. Okay, guys. So I have cut it out and this is it right here. Right. So now what we're going to do and we're going to use every piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover it. So 
this is the part where you don't have to follow my directions, right? So with the other one, I covered it with batting, and I'm going to do that one with this as well and covered it with fabric. But what I'm going to tell you, you do not have to use batting. You can just cover it with your fabric. Um, you do not have to sew. You could just fold over, you know, and make sure everything is nice and um, creased um, with the iron so that everything looks nice and neat. Um, with this part, you can tuck this under and iron it. You can even leave this part on this side so that um, on the spine so it'll be open. So, oh, let me sh oh guys, okay. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so you see how I put this right here on top? You don't have to do that. You can always just take your fabric and do it like this, and then you have an open edge um, spine. You can totally do that. You don't have to do it like I'm doing it. I'm just giving you an idea, okay? So, um, with that being said, let's move this out of the way. <laughs> um, what we're going to do is we're going to cover it with fabric and batting. So, this is my batting. Um, I don't know, this is like some batting. I don't know where I got this. I think I got this at Joann's. I'm not sure, y'all. This is not the batting that I prefer, so that's why I'm using it. Um, it works just the same, but I like the other batting better. Um, just a personal preference. Um, so I'm going to take it, and I am going to lay it down on the opposite side, right? Like this. I'm going to glue it down. And then I'm going to cut it out and then I will be back to show you guys what I got. So we have our um, covers um, covered with the batting, right? Uh, guys, if you hear something, that is the electric um, fireplace because <laughs> it's really cold here. Um, anyway, um, and so I found this fabric, right, and I've been Recording it and I think it's beautiful so we're gonna use it and um, this is can you guys see that this is the name I don't know if you guys can see that um, I, I will put the name down below I don't know where I got this um, but I would definitely is Amy Cinebaldi I think I pronounced that right I don't know but this is the um, fabric and I just thought it went perfect with Maggie Holmes right so that's why I got it in the first place okay so we are gonna cover both of these and you guys do you guys know how to cover um, I think you guys do um, so we're just gonna make sure we have the right um, length right you want to keep a little bit on the side to cover and you guys have seen me cover um, you know uh, folders and all that stuff before guys I cannot find my words right now I am so sorry um, and all that stuff so I won't bore you with that but um, so we're gonna do this and we're gonna make sure make just make sure you have enough and I'm like with the composition notebook you know how you have the rounded corners I'm just gonna square mine um, off because when I cut the pages the pages will be squared as well so um, I think that you know and I didn't how do you say it I don't really want to um, yeah let's move this over just a little bit I don't I don't I don't want to um, take the time to um, round all the corners I, I just don't I'm, I know you guys I'm a little bit on that, you know, on that side that I don't want to do that. I think that's a lot of work, and your girl don't want to do it. So we're not going to do it. So we're just going to make everything like a square, okay? But you can totally round the corners, okay? Um, something else I was going to tell you guys. Oh, you don't have to use batting. You don't have to use fabric. You can also use paper. I meant to tell you guys that. You just cover it like you would a regular um, journal if you're using paper. Um, you guys, just like I'm doing now, you just use the paper and don't omit the batting okay so I'm gonna cover all these and then I am going to I'm gonna show you right now before I do it this I'm gonna use this really pretty corduroy y'all know I love me some corduroy right so I'm gonna use the corduroy and I think it matches really good right so we are gonna cover this part with the corduroy like this I'm gonna show you so whatever fabric you use for your spine so we're gonna cut it all the way up to the edge just like this and I'm going to leave a little bit, you want to leave some on the sides, okay? So I'm going to cut right here, 
so we have some on the sides you know what I'm just gonna glue this down right now because um, I will forget and glue it down and then you are also going to need a little bit of this fabric to cover the inside of this and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about uh, did I put that? Yeah, <laughs> okay. I was making sure I didn't glue it. I wasn't going to glue it on the wrong side because has your girl done that before? Yes, she has. <laughs> All the time, I'm always gluing stuff on the wrong side. So we're going to do it like this and make sure you have, I don't know how much I have over there, guys. Um, I have an inch, a half an inch, okay, on the, on the side. So make sure you at least have a half an inch on the side. All right. So I am going to cut everything out, I'm going to glue everything, um, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sew around my um, covers. Okay guys, so this is what we have, right? And um, I've already covered that, I showed you guys that, so I sewed around everything. And that's so pretty y'all. Um, I think I was watching Amity Bloom one time and she was like, um, guys make this stuff pretty so that you want to use it you know and so um that's what i'm trying to do make it as pretty as possible so what i'm going to do yes this is, is this one yes i am going to take it so the reason why i'm creasing it like this is because you don't want to put it like that because it's going to be the exact same thing that you just had sorry guys my battery died okay so what i was saying is you don't want to put it right here because it'll be the same spine with that you had the first time right so um i'm going to just make a little crease like this um so i'll know where to put my glue all the way down so i'm going to fold it over and i'm going to put my glue there like this like that okay and then I am going to add my fabric. So I'm trying to figure out, I know this is the front cover. So we're going to put it like this. Yes, that's the front cover. Let me see. Yep, that's the back cover. All right, so we're going to do it like this. I'm just going to put it on there like that. Press it down. Right. Let it sit on there for a little bit before we take it to the sewing machine um, and then we're going to do this one but I need to get some clamps so it doesn't fall out of place bear with me guys okay all right so we're going to just put this right here and we're going to put this right here so guys what I'm going to do with this journal I think with this I, I love um, the traveler's notebook system because um, you can put so many things in there. And I think that's my favorite part about the Traveler, Traveler's Notebook system is that you can have a journal in there for your groceries. You can have a journal in there for your bills. You can have, you know what I'm saying? You can have a notebook in there for your bills, your, your memories, all that stuff, right? So, ooh, ooh guys, that's going on there. Oh, no. Hopefully it doesn't, hopefully we can kind of clean that up. We should be able to. But anyway, so that is why I like the Traveler's Notebook system. Because you can put a couple journals in there, or notebooks, whatever you want to call them, and um, inserts um, in there, and it is a whole bunch of stuff in one book. I like that, you know? Because, um, y'all, I, I don't know. And I like how, how it's blank, even though I'm a junk journaler. Like, I make junk journals. Um, you know, I get a little bit intimidated in trying to journal in a junk journal. So, I'm, I'm, I'm good when it's just dot grid or line paper. Um, I'm definitely good when it's like that. Okay? So, that is why we're making this. And then, also, I wanted to make a reading journal because I do a lot of reading. Right? And no shade to authors or anything like that because I know it's a creative process for everybody that is an artist. If you are not inspired, you just don't do your work, right? So, um, with that being said, a reason why I'm making a reading journal is because sometimes authors come out like two months, three months, a year, three years um, in a, with one book and then come out 
like five years later with the other book and I want to know what I've read and I want to know like what the book is about if I liked it to get the you know what I mean so I'm going to keep a reading journal because I read a lot I usually read on my um, phone with my um, Kindle Unlimited because I don't have a Kindle anymore um, but um, I uh, oh this is the one we need um, so that is what this journal is for and I think I just want to put some memories in here too you know so I want to be able to take it with me um because I'm definitely going to pick it up because it's green and green is my favorite color so uh yeah and I think it's really pretty what do you guys think okay so this is what we're going to do I'm going to wait till this dries just a little bit and I am going to sew it right so the thread in my bobbin is the same color as my thread because um one, because I'm kind of lazy and I don't like to change it. And second is because I like to sew on the opposite side, like right here, I want to sew these down. And I want my thread to be the exact same color as the thread on the outside, right? So now that this is all, um, well, it's not all dry, but now that it is drying, what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of fabric right here and you can get another piece of fabric you don't have to get one that matches your cover and we're gonna lay it just like that and I'm laying it at the tip you know I don't want it to overhang or anything like that I need it to be at the tip because you're gonna sew this and you're not gonna be able to see it right so I think that's dry enough I think it should stick right right perfect okay so let me show you guys what I'm talking about so let's turn this around the right way and then it's going to go like this. So we're going to put it down like that, right? And I want it just like this. Okay. So in my first um, book, my, my first prototype, I used um, double-sided tape. But I think I'm just going to go ahead and use glue. Um, double-sided tape is like really sticky. Um, and sometimes it has a hard time going through my sewing machine so your girl is just going to use glue and I think that that'll work once it dries it'll be good to go to go in the sewing machine um, I just take my finger and I smear it you know I smear the glue um, you do not have to you can use something else to smear the glue you don't have to use your finger but I don't mind using my finger um, because if you just put your fabric on it like this then of course you'll get all those wet marks in your fabric and um, it's kind of hard to get those out once you do it, trust me, I know. Okay, so we're going to do it like this. I'm going to put it all the way up to the tip like that. And then we're going to do this one the exact same way. Like this. And we're just going to smooth it down in the inside like this. And guys, you can use this method. Like if you wanted to use a composition notebook, you can totally use this method for a actual journal cover you know like and put your pages in and things like that so you can totally use this method for that okay so we're going to cut so it's all lined up right here okay I don't want it to look ugly we're gonna cut that off right oh come on let's see it Okay, I'm going to ink that up. Um, I'm going to ink this up when I finish because I don't want you to be able to see anything other than what I want you to see. Alright, y'all. So, that's that. So, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. Uh, let, me, let me glue this down a little bit. And I'm going to use um, paper in the inside of the cover. You don't have to use paper. You can totally use fabric if you want to just keep on with the fabric train. And like, especially if you have a um, fabric collection. Oh, that would be pretty. You know, I do not. This is the only piece of fabric that I got from this seller. So we are just going to rock with the paper, right? Yeah. Guys, I see that glue right there. I'm sorry, that just bugs me. I just don't like it. Okay, I'm going to take it to my sewing machine. I am going to sew everything. And I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, guys, so this is my sewing machine. This is a sewing machine and a half. And I am going to take my um, cover 
and I am going to just fold it. You see how it's folded over like this? That's why I like using a flexible cover. I am going to just sew right on the line right here and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go all the way around. See how it is folded in my sewing machine? So I'm just going to take it and I'm just going straight down so where the cover meets the spine, okay? Okay guys, so now I am going to sew all around everything, right? I'm going to sew all around every edge um, just like that. Okay. okay guys look at that isn't that beautiful we sewed around everything everything is nice and neat except for that little piece but you won't see that but look at it it's beautiful i love it what y'all think i think the color is beautiful okay so now we're going to put the eyelids in there right am i putting the eyelids in there now no we're going to do that last <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is figure out what papers I want to go in the inside. We're going to do that right now. Um, Y'all, I don't know. They're all pretty. What papers you think? You know what? Maybe we should do like a plain one. Um, What do you guys think? Uh, maybe a, well, all these on this side got flowers on it. So I don't know if I want to do that, right? I don't, I don't know if I want to do that. All right, y'all. So... Your girl had to go digging. <laughs> so I'm not gonna use this one, but I look, see, this is what I'm talking about. I have carousel, I have road trip. I just have quite a few of her papers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this over. So I decided to use um this one, and I think this one is from Road Trip. I like the pink right here. Can you guys see that? Probably not. Let me move my stuff up a little bit. Um, I liked the pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and I am going to cover it. Well, not cover it, but just um, make the inside covers. And how I know where to put it is I'm just going to fold it like this. Right? Like this. Because you guys know this girl right here doesn't do well with measuring. So I'm going to fold it up right here you don't want it to be in the inside of your cover so you just want to make it um meaning you don't want it to hit the spine that's what i'm trying to say not the inside of your cover Duh. of course you want it in the inside of your cover but we're just gonna trace it like this and we're gonna do both of them and i'm gonna glue them down and i'm going to take it to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew all around and then I will come back and show you what I have. All right, y'all. So we are, we have everything covered, right? Um, is this the right side? Yeah. Or is this the right side? I think this is the right side. <laughs> I probably should have um, labeled them, but it's okay. So everything is covered and you guys see that I, I stitched in the inside. That is why my bobbin co color is the same as my thread color um, because I can do that and then when you put it on the outside you can't really tell a difference, right? So we have everything stitched, everything's done, the cover is finished. Now what we're going to do is we are going to put the eyelids so in this there. This is the middle um, so I'm going to put a mark right there, right there. Can you see that? You probably can't. Um, and then I am going to use my ruler because that is a smart thing to do. And I am going to make a mark right here. Right? So, yeah. Right there. Okay. And so then I am going to measure um, a half an inch away from the mark I just made. And you guys can't see that. Okay. I'm going to make a half an inch away from the mark I just made. Here, let me show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better. All right. And I'm sure you all know how to make a Midori. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to do it like this. Right. Okay, and it doesn't matter if they're not even or whatever. I'll just use my crocodile to make sure they're even when I actually um, punch my hose in there. Okay. So you don't have to worry about that. Is that right? I don't know. Yeah, okay. So my crop done. Oh, do I want to do the middle one? Oh, guys. Okay, I don't know. We're going to do the middle one. So I'm going to put it up right about here. What do you guys think? Right? I think that would be a good. I know I should have measured it better, but it'll be okay. It'll be high. All right, so um, 
I already have my crocodile set, right? And it should stay in place, right? So we're just gonna punch the hole right there. I think, let me push it up just a little bit. And then that way all my holes can be exactly the same. Uh, right? Okay. Come on. Uh, I need to make that one. Uh-oh, where's that one? I think it's right there. Yeah, perfect. Okay, now we're going to go down here. And I will clean those out once I put the um, eyelid in there. Okay, we're going to do this one right here. I'm sure that's right. Okay. I'm going to do this one. And then we're going to do this one. I'll make sure it's in the right area. Okay. Uh, that's right. Yeah, they're good. Okay. And so we're going to take our big crocodile and we are going to punch the hole in here like this. Um, let me move this back a little bit. Guys, you know I'm just going to go with the gold one, right? The small gold one. But it's okay. Okay. So then I take my scissors and I clean out, you know, the hole and then I'll put the eyelids in there. Okay. All right, y'all. So, guys, my desk is a mess. I'm so sorry. You guys can see everything up there. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, so I have elastic, and, and this is the elastic that I have. It's just elastic from Joann's. Um, I don't have a different color. I have little smaller elastics, but um, I just think this one probably should be thick. Uh, yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my distress ink and I am gonna just ink it up a little bit. Um, you don't have to do this, you know, but it's just really stark white and kind of want it to be brown. Right, yeah. So it's inked up good enough, you know. I could have dyed it. Mm. Yeah. All right, so we're going to go from the inside and you guys probably already know how to do this, but I'm going to show you just in case you don't. So you're going to start in the middle. And you're going to pull it. Uh, I always pull it to about right here, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this one. And you can go on this side or this side. I'm just going to go on this side, right? So you can go on this side or this side. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to make sure it's nice. Okay. Then we're going to go down right here. Like this. Uh-oh. Come on. All right. Then you're going to go through this middle one right here. Okay, once you go through the middle one, you're going to hold this one over to the side a little bit and you're going to take your string and go through there, like this, right? You want to pull it kind of tight and then you're going to take this one, you're going to go through here, like so, uh-oh, okay, then you're going to go through this one. Okay, is it tight? Yep, yeah, tight. And then you're going to take this one back like this, and you're going to go through here. Okay, really easy if you're, yeah. All right, so now you have your elastics. Make sure you're, it's right side up. Okay, so I pull it pretty tight. You want it to have tension, right? And so we're going to tie it like this. Um, you can always tie it down farther, um, just in case you want to add like beads or something on your elastics. I'm not going to do that. I'm just, I'm not going to add anything. <laughs> okay. Now you're supposed to, um, uh, what is that? You're supposed to use your, um, lighter and, um, seal the ends. If you want to, you can, um, or you can, and you could put like some glue right here to keep the knot in place. Um, but you don't have to. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Distress ink and I'm going to just ink it up right outside so it doesn't look so white, you know, right, like that. And I think it looks nice. Alright, so 
with the center um, elastic, what I normally do is I wait to the end um, and then I make the center elastic, right? So all you're going to need is a piece that goes around your, um, what is this? Your book. <laughs> Duh. And then you're just going to stick it in there like this. And you're going to pull it out and fit it around and then tie a knot. That That's how you do it. Um, so we have our nice Midori cover. Guys, I'm in love with it. I think it turned out really nice, right? So let's do some booklets real quick. Um, so let me show you. So this is what the pages look like. I, I took them out. Um, and I separated them, right? So it's 100 pages, so I separated them into, uh, I think it was like 16, 16 pages in three sections, right? 16 or 15. And so we're going to use that. So what I did was, I already cut some of them, but what I did was I took my the regular sheets, I put it in here just like this, and I put it up to this um, back, to the spine, right? And what I did was, I made sure it was even, and I took, I think about a half an inch right here. I think that's about a half an inch right there. Let me check. Make sure so you guys know exactly how much. Yeah, well, it's a little bit more than a half an inch. It's like seven eighths of an inch, give or take. And then I took about uh, maybe a... Uh, one eighth of an inch off the top okay and the reason why I did that is because so this is my um, one that I cut down so I think I might have to take a little bit more off but I don't want it to bump up against this part and this part so I'm going to cut it down just a little bit because it looks a little bit tall see see how that looks and this is where my elastic is right here and this is where my elastic is so I'm gonna to have to take off some more I thought I took off some but maybe I didn't take off enough so I'm gonna take off some more so it can meet right about here and that is gonna be oh y'all hold on just a second I'm gonna take off about uh, three eighths of an inch on each um, insert okay yes, I'm taking for granted that you guys know how to cut your pages down and stuff like that and you might not and you might not have a um, paper trimmer that can go through all these thick pages so what you do um, is you just take your metal ruler right and you just take a craft knife and you just line it up make sure it's straight like this right and then you just slice and take your time and go about I usually go about hmm three or four times until it's cut right there you go perfect right okay so you still see those little rugged edges you can if you don't like them you literally can take each sheet and go through your paper trimmer if you want to I'm not gonna do that I think it's okay um, but and, or you can take um, emery board and you know scuff it up a little bit if that's what you want to do um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to cover him I'm going to cover one with you all and then I'm going to cover the rest of them off camera okay um, so I picked out some paper um, these are the ones I picked out for my uh, covers my my my, my insert covers Duh. I picked this one out guys and I don't know I might change my mind but for right now this is what I'm gonna do so this one is gonna be the back this one's gonna be the front and this one's gonna be the middle I think that's what I'm gonna do it okay so how I did my first set it's really easy and then you use the whole sheet of paper and you don't have too many scraps okay so the first one I did was I took it and I did it like this I measured right here right and so you have that, you measure it all the way up to the edge and all the way up to the edge right here. So you're going to mark it, just mark it like this. Okay. And then you're going to mark, can you see that? You're going to mark where it folds like this. Okay. So you're going to take it to your um, score, I mean not scoreboard, I'll show you. I'll just show you. I will just show you guys. Alright, I'm going to cut that piece off 
at the top. Oh goodness, y'all. All right, take the piece off at the top. Uh, you think that's the one I did, right? Okay, and then you're gonna take your scoreboard and I'll take my raggedy one. Uh, where is my, oh, here it goes, right here. All right, and then the line that you mark where the fold is, you're gonna take it to your scoreboard and you're just gonna score it. Just like that. You don't have to do it like this, but I found this way to be the easiest way. All right, so got it like that, right? So you can take it and we're gonna put it in there like that, and it fits, right? So you have this part right here. What you're gonna do, you're gonna take this piece, and we are gonna just line it up here so that it matches where the other cover, you know, where the other cover is. Make sure all my pages are right. Yeah, like this. And then we're gonna glue it together and cut it to match and sew around it, okay? And that's how you're gonna make the um, cover. Okay guys, so all you're doing is you're gonna line it up like this and to, so it matches and you're gonna glue the part right here. You're gonna glue all this part, right? So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm gonna glue it down like this. Right. I'm going to glue it like this. Right. Hopefully that's right. Make sure it is the same length on both sides. If not, then just push it a little bit so it can be the same length. Like that. Right. Perfect. Uh, is it perfect? Yes. Okay, guys. So now what I'm going to do. I'm going to do the extra. I am going to um, make sure I'm, I'm trying to make sure it's right, y'all, before I, before the glue dries. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to ink it up and I'm going to sew around it. Okay. All right, y'all. So I sewed around everything and I sewed the piece that I attached just like this, right? But you don't have to. You can just glue it. Um, then we're going to go like this. Oh. And I inked my edges because I wanted everything to be uniform. If you're not inking, then you don't have to do that part. All right? So we're going to do it like this. And then we are just going to make a three-hole pamphlet stitch. Um, I think you guys all know how to do that. If you are um, more advanced and you want to do um, a five-hole pamphlet stitch, more than welcome. Um, it works both ways. And then... Um, what else? Oh, if your sewing machine is um, uh, heavy duty enough, you can always just sew it. Um, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried to see if my sewing machine can go all, through all these, but I think it can. But um, we'll see. I'll see. I'll see you on another one. Okay. So anyway, um, three hole pamphlet stitch. I am not measuring, y'all. So if you know that you're gonna mess up, make a template. I. You know what? I'm going to make a template just because I said that I'm not measuring. Okay. I just got a piece of scrap paper. I'm just going to fold it in half like this. Just like that. And then I'm going to fold it like this. Right? And then I'm going to fold it like this. I'm hoping I'm doing that right. I might be doing it wrong, but I think I am. Okay. So you have one, two, and then three. Yes, okay. So this is where your hole is gonna go, one. This one is in the middle, and then you got this one right here. And that's three, right? Um, I am gonna cut it down just a little bit. Um, so it will, I'm gonna cut it down a little bit on this end and on here. I probably should have did that before, but it's okay. Um, it's just a template because sometimes when you say stuff, and then you, you try to do it, it comes out totally wrong. So I am going to just punch my hole there, that way. And then that way, you have even holes when you fold it and you don't have to measure. Um, you guys know I don't like measuring. Okay, so we are going to punch the holes in here. 
and it's easier if you use like a clip on both sides um guys i thought i had a a paper clip. you know what i'll just use one of these paper clips right here okay like that so that your paper stays in now and it's easier if you bend your paper right so you know put that in there see how i'm bending my paper like this and we're just going to go through there straight through you know make the hole pretty big because when you go back through there sometimes it acts kind of crazy so make it big enough and then i'm going to do it like this way i don't know i know you guys can't see but it's, it's that's what i'm doing i'm just folding it and poking the hole like that and then you have one two and then you have your third hole right there right so and then and you can see this one is a little bit off but it'll be all right um you can always cover that with um some washi okay i got a needle um this is my uh needle for my um what am i trying to say book binding okay so i'm just gonna get a little bit of wax thread if you do not have wax thread you do not have to use this you can use um embroidery uh floss you can use crochet thread you can use baker's twine you can use twine you can use crochet thread whatever dental floss whatever it is that you have um that you want to use you you are more than welcome if you use dental floss that's cool because um it has the wax coating already on there okay so anyway go through the middle like that keep a piece of your string right here oh come on make sure you're folding it so it can go straight through did it go straight through nope and that's okay and that is okay i'm gonna do it like this go straight through did you go yes there we go okay and then pull that down like this pull it up a little bit not too much you're gonna go through the top like that bam 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 and then you're going to go back through the middle and don't split your thread right and you want to make sure that you're on the opposite side so this string is on this side so you want to make sure that you're on the opposite side so what i'm going to do is push that out a little bit and i'm going to bring it like that so this one will be over this one and the one that i'm pulling through will be on the opposite side just like that right okay and then we're going to tighten it like so. Make sure it's tight. Yes, it's tight. I should have did that before I knotted it, but I didn't. I always do three knots. You can do more or less, whichever one. You can leave these right here if you want to and put beads on them or whatever. I'm not. I'm just going to cut them. Not too short though. I'm um, just in case it comes loose and you have to like re sew it or something like that. So there you go, and that is your insert, right? So ink that up. It doesn't look too bad, even though it's off. Even though I used the template, I probably should have just not used the template. But anyway, it doesn't look bad. You can always put some washi on here, which I probably will end up doing. Um, putting a piece of washi right there because, yeah, you know what? Let's let's do that right now. Um, put a little piece of washi. Okay guys, I picked this one, right? I'm going to put a little bit of glue down, um, just a little bit, right? And then I'm going to take this one and I'm going to try to put it as close to the middle or as close so to have, so to be even on both sides, you know, I don't know if that's going to be even on both sides, but I try. Okay, so close that down. And if I was thinking, y'all, what I would have done, if I was thinking, and I probably will do that on the next one, is put the washi um, on the outside and the inside so when you put the elastic in there, it doesn't affect your paper. It's not all scrunched up. But I have a solution for that, okay? So I will show you guys my solution in a minute because we are almost finished with this. Okay. I knew I didn't do that right is totally okay and I even tried to put it in the same 
place, but it's all right. It is all right. It's still cute. What do y'all think? I think it's still cute. Okay, so that's that. Right? And then that is our first insert. So what I would think I'm going to do is I'm going to punch a little hole in the top part. Like, I'll show you guys. Take my hole punch, and I'm going to punch just a little, a little one. Right? Half, a half, little half hole, if I can. I should have did this before I um, sewed it in, but you guys know how I am. Okay. Okay. Just like that. Perfect. Now we're going to do this part. Like so. Perfect. Okay, so now you have a little dip like this on both sides so that it will fit in your... Um, is that the right side? Yes. So it'll fit in here and it won't scratch your... I mean, won't dent your paper. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. See? Now you got a little nookie for your elastic. Guys, I'm loving it. What do you guys think? It's turning out really nice. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to see what else I want in here because I don't know what else I want. Um, I know I'm going to do cover the other three notebooks, right? And then I think I'm going to add in two pockets on this side, and then I'm going to add in a folder type thing on this side, right? Okay, um, guys, so I am done. So what I did was I had um, these charms um, from Paige Evans, right? And I just added one to the front, and I added the elastic. All I did was... Um, I put the elastic in here like this and I knotted it about three or four times and I probably could knot it again or you can make it into a bow so it won't go through right so um like that and um that's it oh I added I'm sorry I added pockets so I added a pocket right here um, a pocket right here and a pocket right here this one goes all the way down this one not and this one goes to right here and then in the back I added a pocket right here and I added a window with acetate and then on the inserts I added these cute heart um, paper clips to close it and I think that is pretty decent for the time I had right and I don't know how long this video is and if it's too long I am so sorry y'all but um, I think that turned out really, really good, considering we started with a composition notebook, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys make one for yourself. And I am definitely not done decorating. I just ran out of time. I want to add some more stuff to it, some more folders. You guys know how you do it. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next Tuesday. God bless. Bye.